The People's Environmental Scrutiny Committee has two aims. First is, by May 2015, to create a network of informed and inspired individuals and groups who know each other's strengths, weaknesses and hopes. It will do this by holding meetings and also by connecting people who ought to know each other. It will encourage people to learn, develop and share whichever of the eight key skills they want. Those skills, social media, lobbying of councillors, blogging, writing letters to newspapers, research, public speaking, report writing and video making. And there are three others that are on offer too, meeting design, facilitation and project management. The committee will seed into the network accurate information about Manchester City Council and its um, performance on environmental matters. Here are the dates of the meetings for the rest of the year, venues to be confirmed. But if you're allergic to meetings or can't make those dates, we still want you to be involved. There's a regularly updated jobs list on the website, divided into jobs that are simple and quick, simple and long, complex and quick, and complex and long. If nothing suits but you still want to be involved, please email environmentalscrutiny at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait, I said two goals, didn't I? Well, the second one is to lobby for the creation of a transformative rather than minimal environmental scrutiny, con scrutiny committee as part of the official scrutiny infrastructure of Manchester City Council. To do this primarily by setting the right example rather than schmoozing, wheedling, petitioning which are degrading and ineffective. If you want to know more there's that website which will tell you all about the why, how, when and where. All help gratefully received. Thanks for watching.